tiger is one of the four power animals, as you say, and it is uh, because people used to draw strength and inspiration from these power animals. So if you go to Bhutan, in monasteries, on paintings, you will see all these four animals either carved or painted on the buildings. This has very high significance for conservation. On a regular basis, I have to deal with issues concerning tiger. Over the past years, we have several incidences of uh, people being attacked by tigers. The human-tiger conflict is increasing. Is in, in the case of Bhutan, it's not because of people's encroachment into the tiger habitat, but because we have been very successful in conserving the forest, the habitat of tiger has come actually closer to the human habitat. And as people you know, and uh, tigers come into contact, then this kind of uh, conflict is increasing. And it is uh, therefore very, very important for us to find ways of dealing with the situation. Unless people see tigers, uh, the value of tiger conservation, unless we help them to see it that way, they will only see them as uh, a threat to their lives and livelihood. We had gone on every day in the morning and in the afternoon on elephant bags looking for tiger, but we didn't find one. And then we suddenly saw this orange uh, kind of shadow in the river for th in the beginning, and then that shadow emerged out of the water and completely lit up that river. And the whole environment was rejoicing, you know, there were alarm calls, there were birds calling, and there were animals uh, moving around, and we were so thrilled. It made me feel how important our mission is, that we are trying to save this pristine wilderness from what we call development. We have to look at the role of the tiger in the ecosystem. Now, the tiger is really at the top of the food chain in the animal kingdom, if you like, animal world. Now, if you take care of the tiger, then I think we take care of the whole ecosystem. The whole range of prey on which the tiger feed and the whole range of feed and fodder that the prey survives on. So, when you are protecting the tiger, you are actually protecting the whole environment and the services that it provides. In Bhutan, the, one of the central tenets of our faith, Buddhism, is living in harmony with nature that is respecting all forms of life. So we believe that the animals which occupy the space, which occupy the habitat uh, along with us, have equal stake, equal rights to live in relative peace and to thrive as much as we do. There are sometimes often conflicting issues between conservation and livelihoods of communities. But what we like to do is to ensure that the communities benefit from conservation. We have been working very closely with the World Bank, not only since the, since the establishment of the Global Tiger Initiative here, but also even before that in terms of protecting the forest, in terms of sustainably managing the forest. We have had several projects with the World Bank, finding ways and means of managing the forest better and also promoting community participation in forest management. So we have now a very successful community forestry program where we hand over areas of forest around villages to the local communities and they are not only entitled to the, the timber, the fuel wood and uh, the other products from the forest, but also they have the responsibility to manage this forest. So they are benefiting from all the resources that the forest supply. And this is also an initiative that was initially started with the World Bank assistance. For the GTI, it is extremely important that political leaders of stature who are champions, get together, they guide the work that we do, they guide the policy that we have. 
So that is one part that the Secretariat does is to see that we can have a coalition of political uh, will and partners. The other is to connect countries to each other. You know, the isolation in which practitioners work in trying to save tigers, the distant uh, wildernesses, that isola isolation needs connectivity. With the support of the World Bank, we are you know, building the capacity of our park managers and rangers to control poaching, control trade in uh, you know, animal and animal parts, and also helping us to build transboundary cooperation among tiger range countries. So for example, between India and Bhutan, we have uh, the Royal Manas National Park in Bhutan and the Manas Wildlife Sanctuary in India, and we are now working together. At this stage, what we need from the bank is also to support the development of green infrastructures, because we cannot deny people the benefits of socioeconomic development that their you know, neighbors enjoy just outside of the park areas, the park boundaries. So they are entitled to the benefits of uh, modern socioeconomic development uh, infrastructures like road, like telephone connectivity, like electricity. But there are ways and means of doing those things better in a way that not affect the tiger population, the habitats of the, the wildlife. So we need to do that better. And to do that, we need resources. We heard similar stories from the other countries, but I think we have to now also be able to distinguish the, that uh, the challenges are maybe similar, but the scales and dimensions are different. And now, in the case of Bhutan, protecting what we have is the challenge, whereas in many other countries, it is actually trying to restore or reverting back what was lost is the challenge. Money flows to traditional departments and governments, you know, which is infrastructure or, you know, hydro and power and other things. The environmental ministries are left with poor resources and are left to go and seek resources outside. So, and that's, that's not only in Bhutan, it's happening in India, it's happening in Bangladesh, it's happening in Vietnam, it's even happening in China. So, this is an unfortunate situation unless there is a paradigm change where environment is seen as important and as important as infrastructure. Till then, there will be poor resourcing. As a small nation with a very diverse uh, ecosystem, we have tropical, subtropical to alpine ecosystem. So be it for conservation of tigers, which uh, basically the uh, subtropical uh, wildlife, or snow leopard, which is an animal in the you know, snow range areas, uh, we are party to it. And of course that cost you know, to be able to effectively not only conserve them within the country, to be able to participate in the dialogue that is going on. The president of Kirk Republic has uh, taken the leadership and is now going to host the summit on the snow leopards at the end of August or early September in Bishkek. So I am sure that there will be greater understanding and awareness about the value of a snow leopard as an iconic indicator of alpine ecology. If you don't take care of the tigers now, if you don't conserve tigers now, if you don't protect their habitats, we'll also see tigers only on paintings, only as dolls or toys in the toy shop.